Chad DeFrady's mother called me a month ago. We talked about the marriage proposal Chad wanted to do. His potential bride had no idea he was coming home or was preparing a most unique proposal. But first, we needed the help of a local sheriff. Chad DeFrady sat alongside Christian County Sheriff Bob Kinderman. The two were waiting for Jennifer Rogers to get off work. After she leaves the high school, we'll try to follow her to a safe location and pull a traffic stop. Before the traffic stop began, Chad DeFratis admitted that he was nervous about his surprise trip home and his even bigger surprise wedding proposal that was just minutes away. I'm much more nervous about this than, you know, I've been shot at and murdered and, you know, it's, this is much more nerve wracking. Jennifer Rogers' nerves must have been a little rattled as she talked to the sheriff. Inside the waiting police car, Chad DeFratis was also trying to calm down. Listen to my shaky voice. And then Chad DeFratis made his move. The soldier was armed with only a CD player that would play the couple's favorite song. couldn't have pulled it all off without the help of Sheriff Bob Kinderman. Thank you, Sheriff. Also thanks to Chief Photographer Kevin Huey. We had two cameras going on that shoot. I had one, but I could hardly focus through the tears. I think Dom's yeah, the no same kid, way. No kidding, Scott, man. That's really <laughs> emotional. I'm a little emotional. choked up as well. That was a great story.
What's she gonna do? What do you think she's gonna do? She probably see me, actually. I can't see anything with it. Is she coming? Okay. Okay, mom's on her way down. She doesn't know Ryan's here yet. All the people in her office are waiting for her. Okay. I'm so excited. I'm actually shaking. Why are you shaking? Because I'm so excited. <laughs> what is your head? First of all, thanks for what you're doing. Thank you. Thanks for what you're doing. Be safe, man. Thank you. Seriously, like shaking. I'm so shaking. Sam, Coming. Because she said she's to Get So many times, being like, "Oh my God, guess who's downstairs?" or something, you know. <laughs> Did Brett know? Oh yeah, the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> so now you can call that lonely husband of yours well, and say hello. Don't worry, your boss said it's okay for you to go home <laughs> after all of this. <laughs> wow. You can blame Grandma too. She knew. Yeah, she knew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so did Grandma Linda, so did, <laughs> so did John and Carissa. Yeah. Wow. Whoa, this is so sad. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Wow. 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 Wow.
<laughs> this is cool. <laughs> See? Now it's not so bad. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> you need another pop? <laughs> oh. Probably, huh? <laughs> wow. What do you got that done for? How's it going? You seem kind of... Look at him. He's drinking away. Look at that Bud Light. That's Bud Light, baby. Official sponsor of the Olympics. <laughs> 2011 Olympics. That's good. Look at everybody. Hey, make sure you get him. Then you get her.
You know, I'd always threatened that um, for her 50th birthday I was going to arrange a news crew. And uh, so when, when she heard Belvin Perry came down, I said, it's time for your birthday. And then I said, well, Debbie, there may, there may be a news crew or two up there. She said, what? But I'm not going. So we forced her up. Wow. I told her that um, you guys were here because we we're going to have some firemen deliver a cake with a lot of candles on it. So, um, yeah, and she, um, she's really missed her son. Thank you.